Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering some of my favorite widget apps for your lock screen. These add so much to your lock screen and just add more customization and I just absolutely love it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in today's video, so let's get started. So these are the five apps that I'm gonna be looking at in today's video for you guys for widgets on your lock screen. These are all great apps. Some of them you need to pay for, some of them are free, and some of them have both of those options. So yeah, we're gonna get into all that and show you guys some of my favorite widgets on each of these apps. So the first app I have here is called Color Widgets. This is a very popular app if you wanna customize your phone. I covered that in one of my iOS 16 related videos. I'll have the link in the eye up top. For instance, this entire home screen is set up with that app using its custom app icons and widgets. So I'm gonna go in and then we're gonna see all the new lock screen widgets. So as you can see here at the top, you have your widgets, your normal widgets. And then here at the bottom, you have your lock screen widgets. So I have a few here that I have added um, and you can also edit each one if you want to. But I'm just gonna scroll down until you see here the new section, lock screen widgets. And you can see everything that they have here. And I'm just gonna click on show more. And here you can see all the different things that you can add from your color widgets app. Um, so how to do this, it's very easy. It works this way for most of these apps that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So say I want a photos one. Let's just say these sparkles I wanna add. I'm gonna click on that and then you're just gonna click on edit widget if you wanna edit it somewhat. So you can change the photo or you can change the style or you can add a background to it or you can just have no background. I'm gonna go ahead and add a background. It's just a very faded background that's gonna add. And then I'm gonna click on set widget at the bottom and then you can either replace one of the widgets or you can add a new widget and then you are good to go and to add that widget to a lock screen all you need to do is hold down on your wallpaper click on customize and add widgets and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on color widgets and choose which one I want. So this one, I want a bigger widget. So it's gonna look like that. And then I'm gonna tap on that widget and choose a different one. Um, so I'm pretty sure this will be widget number four, yes and then this is what it looks like and click on done and then that is what it's gonna look like and if I didn't choose a background it would just have the sparkles it wouldn't have that kind of blurred gradient background um, so yeah that is how you set these widgets on a wallpaper some of these widgets you'll see has pro in the top right corner that means you need to have a pro subscriptions meaning you have to pay for the use of that widget um, so um, yeah but my favorite for these are definitely just the calendar widgets in general I really like like the way they look and they add a lot um, so yeah so those are definitely my favorite especially this one here um, I have that set on a wallpaper actually as you can see here um, it says Tuesday the 20th and it has this cool little look to it so yeah that is one of my favorite widgets for color widgets but they have a bunch of cool ones this calendar widget is also really nice from color widgets which I also really love as you can see I have it on multiple lock screens the next app I want to cover is top widgets which is this one here so you'll see it has a recommended section here and it has all the new lock screen widgets but you can go to the lock screen section to see all the available widgets that they have um, they have a cute animated one so as you can see this dynamic one is really cute um, and then they also have some other things so first I've got to cover this dynamic one it's very easy to set up so for instance, I have this lock screen here, which is just a wedding focus that I created. And as you can see, you just have these cute little animated GIFs that are playing with a heart. And I think it looks so cute. It's really easy to set up. You just have to save each one. So you just click on save at the bottom. Um, so you need one for the left side and you need one for the right side. Save both of those. Go to the top widgets and go to a medium one and set two of them. And then you just click on the widget and choose the one that you have set up. So dynamic is the one that I have here and um, I'm just gonna click on done and then it is set up like that so those are really nice but my favorite set of widgets from top widgets is definitely the, the launch widget so we have one here that is smaller and then you have the bigger ones here um, but I prefer the smaller ones and basically all you need to do is you click on the launch widget choose which app you want to set up um, so um, if you want to go for TikTok you can do that um, then it will change it to TikTok and then you can also adjust the background opacity if you want to if you want a background or not I usually just leave it at 100 click on save and um, if you want to see an example of what it looks like when you have that set up here's one that I made for a lock screen which has Instagram music and notion it looks really nice and it's so minimal and it's very easy and it works really well to launch apps 
and um, it's just it's one of my favorite widgets to choose from um, so yeah definitely check those out and try them out for yourself the launch widgets are amazing and it's free which is really nice the next app I want to cover is launchify which basically does the exact same as I just showed you guys with top widgets but all I wanted to mention with launchify so you just click on the plus button choose which whatever app you want to add so I'm gonna go with Instagram and then what you can do is you can go ahead and set an icon you can set one from your camera roll you can set one as symbols um, which they have here a bunch of symbols that you can choose from or you can set one as just an app that they have here you can just basically search their app here for your desired app um, and set that as an icon now the only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is if you want to pay and you can add a camera roll custom icon but you do like I said have to pay for this option if you want it to be more custom otherwise I would just recommend using top widget because the app icons that they have here don't look very good when you have them on your lock screen if you just use um the ones they give you here then I just would rather recommend using top widgets for launching apps um, but yeah if you want to pay for launchify and want custom app icons on your lock screen you can go ahead and do that and pay for launchify the next app is MD clock now you do need to pay for MD clock to use the widgets that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in this video um, so all you need to do to add a widget is basically what we've been doing the entire time I'm gonna go to MD clock here choose the 8-bit because that's the one you need to pay for it's really cute though so I'm going to click on that and then when you tap on your widget you can choose which character you want to select um, and have as a character on your lock screen so I'm going to go for just the heart um, click on done and then that is what it's going to look like on your lock screen so if that's something you want it's just basic characters and um, they have some cool widgets that you can just add to your phone as well um, then I would really recommend checking out MD clock because they have some cool widgets like I said for just your phone on your home screen or for your lock screen now as well and the last app I want to cover is widget smith now um, it's very much similar to all the apps that we have covered you have you can add something from your photo album which is really cool symbols blank clock all that kind of stuff that all the other apps have what I did use widget smith for is adding a moon phase because I've always loved the look at their as we're in their moon phase so you can see the theme and everything like that and you can set the location and um, just the other type of theme you want here so actual simple or symbolic um, you can go ahead and set that and save that and add that to your lock screen here is an example of what that looks like when you set it to your lock screen I just really like the look of it and I think it's just a nice thing to add as well so that is widget smith it's very similar to all the other apps that I did cover um, but it just like that moon phase one is really cool so yeah those are all the apps I wanted to cover for you guys um, in today's video my top recommended apps if you need to choose is definitely color widgets and top widgets just because they have so many options for free and then they also have paid options which are really cool um, and the launch option on top widgets is definitely one of my favorites so but those are all the apps that I wanted to cover for you guys in today's video I hope this helped you guys out and you got some cool apps that you can now use to customize your lock screen let me know in the comments down below what you guys thoughts are and definitely give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and you enjoyed it Click on the icon on the screen to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. And click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 16 related videos. I have a bunch on customization that you guys might like. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.